my grandfather, my papa, and my grandmother, my mamus, grew up in LaGrange. And so when I was five years old, we moved to LaGrange, my parents and my sister and I, and we ended up living right beside my grandparents in Big Springs. I started in second grade at Southside Elementary. Then I ended up at Hollis Hand and Berta Weathersby, and in sixth grade, I attended Gardner Newman Middle School, and we were the first grade to attend Gardner Newman Middle School. So did Gardner Newman and then went to LaGrange High School. I'm a lifelong Granger. I have lived in New York and Chicago and LA and Atlanta and Orlando and everywhere I go, I tell people about LaGrange. There's a lot of pride and everybody says that there's always that Kevin Bacon six degrees of separation of LaGrange, Georgia. You can always find somebody who knows somebody from LaGrange. I believe it. When I was growing up, I was overweight. I was, I was bullied a lot. And my junior year of high school, I lost like 70 pounds. And I think that that's probably where I get a lot of the compassion and the generosity and, and kind of the acceptance from of, of feeling like the underdog and believing in other people. Through that, I, I, you know, there was a guy that was a couple years older than me when I was in high school and, uh, and he didn't pick on me and he kind of would give me rides whenever I asked to, to get a ride someplace and he told me jokes and made me laugh. He made me feel like I belonged in this world. He made me feel like I should be here. And that guy's name is Holden Layfield. He was voted friendliest of his senior class at LaGrange High School. When he was going through a, a, a really period of, of struggling, he had an undiagnosed mental illness. He was self-medicating. And Holden, he, he died by suicide. He was 19 years old. So I was a junior in high school when Holden died by suicide, and it, it made a profound impact in my life. He had more humanity than anybody that I'd ever met. And so, lo and behold, after I went to the University of Georgia and graduated with a degree in agricultural economics, I moved down to Orlando, Florida, and I started selling accounting software to the produce industry. And I did that for about six months, and I just felt very unsatisfied. And I felt like I got, I got a calling to get into the arts, and I started acting. For the first time, and I left my job, I started working at the Hard Rock Cafe in Orlando, Florida. I tell people it's, it's one of those things, leap and the net will appear. That was something that my first acting coach told me. And so when I was in Orlando, I would, I would go for jogs. Jogging is something that just helps me cope with uh, some self-care and just kind of getting away from things. And I felt like uh, Holden was calling me to tell a story. And at the time, I had just started acting. I'd never written before, never directed before, never produced before, never done anything. And so I kept pushing it away because I, that thing in your head that tells you you're not good enough, like, who are you to do this? Like, people are gonna make fun of you. Like, there's no one gonna watch this. Like, why are you gonna do this? So finally, I, I had moved out to Los Angeles and I just made that decision. Like, well, his family's either gonna say yes or no. So I wrote them a 13-page handwritten letter. I just waited for their response and they took a vote as a family and they said yes and that started a 10-year journey to make the film Holding On. So after Holding On and, and we released the film, we, we did really well. We uh, had won awards across the country. We got worldwide distribution. We were honored at the state capitol. I was honored for advocacy in the arts. I got to speak in front of the House of Representatives. I, I want to give a shout out to Representative Nix from LaGrange, who really was the leader in allowing that to happen and believing in me enough to allow me to speak in front of uh, the Georgia General Assembly and, and allow me to throw up a peace sign for everybody. And to get well received was incredible. I've, on the House floor, they, they watched the trailer to Holding On. We had a special screening at the state capitol. That doesn't happen every day. Two things that are incredibly important in my life are I got twins and they're 17 months old and they're a handful and I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. Uh, um, Sometimes I go back to when Holden's parents gave me the rights to tell Holden's story. And at the time I was 27 years old and I was single, you know, and our family was so far from my life at that moment. They used to always say, and everybody says it when you have kids, you go, you don't understand until you have kids. You don't understand until you have kids. And that sounds so cliche, but it's so true. And, uh, and, and when these boys came into my life, and they're miracles, they're miracles, um, my life changed. And I go, man, 
the Layfields, they trusted me so much. Like, that's remarkable that someone uh, was able to do that for me. I don't know if I'd be able to do that now that I have kids. So that tells me that, that in life you do have to have trust. In life you do have to lean on others. You do have to have other family. You do have to embrace this community because we can't do this alone. What I love about LaGrange is that it always feels like I'm coming home. Uh, I can feel my grandparents even though they're no longer here. I can feel them when, when I drive past their house. My parents live here. Anytime I go into town, I'm going to run into somebody that I know and, and I can pick up a conversation like it was yesterday. It's about family. It's about community. There's something in the water here in LaGrange. I mean, it's got something to be proud of. And there's so much talent that lives in this city that is remarkable. Uh, you can name the number of athletes that have gone on to be professional athletes, musicians, actors. There's something that's going on here that I'm very proud of. And I always can't wait to come back home. I am Tamlin Hall, and I am the story of LaGrange.